Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 19. Now, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 2, or the PDFs or the uh, PowerPoints, you can click on the link below the video. Now we're going to start on the sheet improper to mixed. Now actually we're not going to start here. I'm going to start over in my uh, PowerPoint and just show you. And let me see if I can start this up. And I want to show you how to do this by hand. Whoops. Now the first thing is if I can get this work in here. Let me uh, right click. I got to get my little pointer and do it in black. All right. So an improper fraction. Remember, that's one that's not polite. Now it just means we have a bigger numerator than denominator. So I'm going to go 8 divided by 3 or 8 thirds the fraction. And this is an improper fraction. And I need to go to a mixed number. Well, check this out. This is quite easy. You just do the division and then look at the remainder. So I would say 8 divided by 3. I say how many 3's are in 8? Well, I think there's 2, right? And 2 times 3 is 6, so I put this here. I hope. Hey, I thought we weren't going to do any long division here. Well, OK, so I guess we are going to do a little long division. All right, so and then we're left with 2, and that's called remainder 2. So once you have that, so you go like, and then this one you go, you take this, that's the whole number part. There's a remainder. Now what it means when there's a remainder is that there wasn't quite another whole 3. So how many 3's are in 8? That's the question here. Well, it's 2 and some number less than 1. So 2, you take it and you put it on top of the 3. So this will be the numerator. This will be the denominator. So 2 divided by 3. All right, now let's take this. Uh, mixed number. Mixed means there's a, a whole number, an integer part here, and a fraction. And we're going to take it, and I'm going to rewrite it down here. And we want to go from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Whoops. And I don't know how to erase yet. Is there an eraser? Yes, there is. Check that out. Oh, that is so cool. Right click. Uh, Cleaner options. All right, so two. All right, so two thirds. Now, how do we do this? Well, there's a great trick. And it kind of goes like this you go three, and I'm going to put a little arrow, times. Two. I always remember it visually or spatially, like going, brrrr, right? So two times three, and then whatever that is, plus that, and that's what goes in the numerator. So three times two plus two, all over the three right there, right? And we're left with. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. So how do you go from mixed number to improper fraction? You do that little text. 3 times 2 plus whatever that is, slap it in the top, and then take the denominator and slap it in the bottom. How do we go from improper fraction to mixed number? you got to do the division. All right, now let's go over to Excel. And I'm going to keep this over to Excel. And let's see uh, the implications of this. Well, let's do two things. I want to do equals 8 divided by 3 here. And hopefully, yeah. And then just for kicks, I want to come down here and do the mixed number equals 2 plus 2 divided by 3. When we look at them without, this is the general number format. So you see up here, this is general, right? Same with this one. 
they better show the same number. But for us, the important thing is we need to convert back and forth, prop, maybe on a piece of paper or maybe something ridiculous like this. I would never, a piece of paper is easier, right? But then we need to add some formatting. So for us in Excel, it's all about the number formatting. So Control-1, no same number, but different. it's going to get different number formatting. So Control-1, that's the format cells. Go down to Custom, and I'm just going to put question mark slash question mark. question mark slash question mark all right and then I can see the little preview right there click OK down here since I want two and two thirds I'm gonna have to use a pound sign space question mark question mark all right so control one come down to custom and I'm just gonna build my own now one of the built-in ones will probably work just fine notice if you have just one of them it's gonna uh, make it look different than it is um, and then question mark slash question mark because I want two and two thirds. All right, so changing improper fractions to mixed numbers or vice versa. We saw how to do a little bit in Excel the formatting and how to do it by hand. All right, um, this is officially the end of section 2.1, and actually, there's one other topic in uh, 2.1 about divisibility rules. You can read through that in the here all it means is if we're never we're not going to use this so but you can look through it's in the textbook or here two if you want to find a number and whether it's divisible by two if the last digit is zero two four six or eight then it's divisible by two if it's five uh, you want to know if it's the number is divisible by five like four hundred and fifty five well if it's a zero or a five then it is ten if the last digit is zero and then there's some other ones here you can look through if you want. All right, um, so you can do the homework for section 2.1. When we come back in our next video, we're going to skip to section 2.3, I think, and learn how to multiply and divide fractions, because later we'll come back to section 2.2 .2 where we add fractions, and that multiplying trick will help us. All right, see you next video.